in a sea of LSs, something different that you actually don't see many people do up are these older V8 Fords. Yep. Now this is definitely. a factory enforcer model you mentioned. It's not something you've stuck on the bonnet. Yes. So this is one of 125 limited edition Russell Ingall enforcer models. Ford made these in 2005 to commemorate Stone Brothers Racing winning the V8 Supercar Series. So Marcus Ambrose and Russell Ingall won the 2004 championship 1-2. So for 2005, they made a special model car for each. The Enforcer was the Russell Ingall one and the sister car to this was the Devil R, which was a Marcus Ambrose car. I can't remember my V8 knowledge is a bit limited, but was the Enforcer or Ingall the one that went fisty cuffs with someone when they jumped out of the car? Oh, my memory's <laughs> not that fantastic back then either, but it was... But yes. um, we filmed this many years ago, probably five years ago to Dino, that's when we first ran yeah, into Yeah, so that would have been not long after I first finished the sort of majority of the build and then it's had a few tweaks over the years. So remind us what's done to this one. So, so it's a factory 5.4? Yeah, it's 5.4 modular, four valve, but obviously in factory form, they're nothing to gloat about. They're very boring in the way you could say. The LS of its time was miles better. So decided to change that. 11 to one compression. Um, it's got like rods, pistons, Ford racing crank. Uh, as cast FG315 GT heads on it um, so that I could run some big camshafts in it. Um, yeah, it's got a big set of comp cam camshafts in it. So you mentioned 11 to 1 comp, what are they stock? 9.5 to 1 on a Boss 260. And can you run this on 98 with that Absolutely. comp? Absolutely, yeah, yeah. Yep, yep. Like, it's on ethanol at the moment as a bit of a safety thing. Like, mm. I circuit, drive this car, I drag race it, you know, it's done a little bit of drifting stuff. Like, I use this as an all-round car, it's a stack of fun for everything. So I just run the ethanol as more as I can beat on it over and over and over again and I don't have to worry about Cylinder temps getting hot and detonation and stuff like engine that. Engine bay so, is pretty stock looking too, isn't it? Yeah, well that was the yeah. plan. Like it's all the good stuff's inside the engine, so there's no point, mm. you know, making it anything fancy. It is what it is. You can kind of see why these aren't used in many uh, engine conversions. No, there's definitely not enough room to put them in a lot of stuff. So, and they were so heavy. Being a cast iron block with such big heads compared to an LS, like mm. if you were after something that was powerful for an engine swap, you wouldn't even consider this. Like it's it's a very good engine with the right recipe of parts. Yeah. You can get half decent power out of them. People in America have proven that. But over here, people did start to play with them years ago when these were sort of a current thing and not too old. But as soon as the Coyote or Miami engine came around in the FGs, people went, why would I waste a cent on this I know, when I, I can know. tune my FG GT and it'll make and more they're horsepower. A, and they're a fantastic engine. They they're are. a bit smaller. We've seen this at the track and I don't think I touched on this is actually a manual. Yeah. Um, remind us how fast you've gone on this. So currently I've run 12-0 at 118. Yep. But definitely need a lot of practice to get that 60 foot down. It was like a 196, 60 foot or something. But it does have a twin plate ceramic clutch in it, which isn't obviously a drag racing oriented clutch. No, no. So it's quite tricky to get the thing to get out of the hole. I can imagine a big heavy car, yeah. 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 So look, I think with a bit more practice, I'll touch into the 11s. That's my goal. There's still a few people in the country that are playing with these things and everyone's itching for that aspirated record. So there's, I know of a couple of guys interstate that are already into the 11. So my plan is just to get a bit more seat time with it and hopefully we can get it into the 11s and possibly get the fastest manual aspirated no, I've one. I've always thought these are a great sounding engine, these ones. They are. When they rev, they actually are a very good sounding thing. So factory, the rev limit's only about 6,000 and we're turning this now to about 7,500. So. Oh, cool. All right. Do we, do we touch on, what had what you changed since we saw you last time? So it's got a new intake and throttle body. It was on the factory throttle oh, body okay, and yep. plenum last time. Yep. So now it's got the yellow Terra plenum, twin throttle bodies and a bigger intake. This yellow Terra thing, does this bolt on? Do, or do the, is yep, it, that is, is a it, direct replacement for the factory one. So they made it look 100% OE. Yeah, yeah, yep, yeah, yep. Yeah. And you can pick whether you want it in black. Obviously these engines were black and the FPV engines were blue. blue so yep, yep. yeah, they just wanted it to mimic how a factory one looked. But in the Boss 315s that came in the early FGs, they actually went to a twin throttle body design like that oh, because I they knew it. that it was a hold up on the sort of more performance version of this engine, would you say? I was gonna say, you haven't painted this car, have you? It's had little bits of paint over the years, little bits of clear coat started to flake off the bumper. It's and held up very good. Like what so, year is this? Uh, this is a 2005, so she's yeah, looks, 17 it looks years old. very, very... I've owned it for 13 years. Um, it's very good. I'll try to look after it. <laughs> so There's hardly a mark on it, really. 
It is in good condition for its age, so. Nice colour too. We've spotted the Brembo brakes. Were these off another Ford? Yeah, so the brakes that are off this car were off a F6 Typhoon or GT of its time. Yeah. Factory, this came with a brake upgrade. So as part of the Enforcer pack, you got FPV uh, PBR brakes. So that was like on an early BA GT or an early BA F6. Yeah. They were a little bit bigger than a factory brake, but they were nothing fantastic. Um, you got FPV suspension and what else? Uh, the FPV steering wheel, some embroidery in the seats, yeah, a signed that, engine yeah. cover. <laughs> um, Russell Ingle signs the owner's manual. That's just a few little things that you got over the factory one, but you know, it's not a BAGT of its time, but it just had a little bit of extras on it over a standard one. I always say, you can't really over brake a car, can you? And once you put good brakes on it, you'll never go back. It's, no, it's good no absolutely. Yeah. So it definitely makes it like, everything that this car came with that was different over a standard one, I've changed anyways. Just spotted the sunroof. Was that an option on the car? Or yes, it, it... yeah, that was a factory option, but I've had this fitted at a later stage. So it's the factory sunroof you could get in the factory way that they did it, but not, it didn't roll out of the factory with it, so. I don't think you're, in a, you're gonna be selling this car anytime soon, are you? Well, it You've might be on the time. cards, really? to be honest. It might be on the cards, I've enjoyed it, but I have owned it for 13 years. I've had more than my fun with it. As I said, I've done all sorts of track days, drag days, and to be honest, it's put up with everything that I've thrown at it, and it never misses a beat on me, so. All right, let's get in the dyno and see how it performs. Make some noise. If it makes anything into the low threes, I'll be happy. Last time on the hub dyno, I made 346. If it puts down 310, 320, I'll be happy. Three ten and three eleven kilowatts. Happy with that? That seems about right. Like it's that's about what four twenty horsepower. Yeah. NA so, at the wheels. NA obviously still factory bore and stroke three hundred and thirty cubic inches. So remember, it's a little bit smaller than an LS one. So in the defence, it's not massive cubic inches. But that was what I expected. It's nothing crazy. It's just a fun sort of street car that I do a bit of everything in. So when you turn the thing to seven thousand five hundred, it does sound very racy. I guess you could say. And it, uh, do, it does sound better than L an LS. It does. The limiter sounds better than an LS one too. <laughs> a lot of people will argue that. This year marks the 25th year that we have been behind the cameras. And to celebrate, we have a fresh new merch design available for pre-order. Grab your track gear from shop.fullboost.com.au. of an RX-8, effectively, like a, or a special model or whatever you call it. Right, so. What? I said XR, didn't I? You said RX-8. <laughs> <laughs> nah, it's reliable. <laughs> that, to a point. say that on camera. 